How do you stop worrying what other people think? Well, today I'm going to show you through four simple tips. Welcome back to my channel, The Self-Esteem and Confidence Mindset with me, Johnny Pardo, here to help you boost your self-esteem and confidence. Subscribe to my channel and you'll get two videos every week on a Tuesday and Thursday or hit the bell to be notified and be notified immediately when they come out. If you are experiencing this struggle about worrying what others think and it's holding you back from doing stuff, don't worry, you are not alone. I've been there and people I've coached and currently coached have this situation and people I've helped have also had this situation. It is a very common thing as human beings to experience this. I was worried at putting my hand up in meetings, even saying my name in meetings, just in case someone wondered why I was there or if I said the wrong thing. I was worried about posting my videos online and now I've made many, many more and I've grown my YouTube channel and podcast by doing this. So I'm evidence I've overcome it, but I've also helped other people to reduce what others think and take more actions towards what they want to do. So I'm going to share four tips with you on how to do this. First of all, why do we worry so much what others think? Well, it's because our brain has a part called the amygdala and the amygdala, um, I struggle with that word, basically is trying to keep you safe. It is trying to keep you from doing something out of your comfort zone. That's why it's quite hard to break out of your comfort zone. It's worried you're going to fall out of the tribe. And what I mean by tribe is, if you think back to caveman days, if you fell out of the tribe then, not that you were around, unless you've suddenly time travelled, which is impressive by the way, so well done. Um, but in those days, if you fell out of the tribe, you were in grave danger. But our brains still think that's the case. If we fall out of the tribe, if we don't impress others, if we don't get validation, then we... We are in danger. However, that's not the case, is it? We are not going to die if we fall out of the tribe. It is just trying to keep us safe. And therefore, that's why it worries so much what other people think. There's also from our childhood. If you're with your parents, you would have really tried to get validation or understanding or instruction from what they wanted you to do. Now, they could have been lovely parents like mine were, but they've obviously, you've obviously taking that on board with your life. So from a young age, you're conditioned to kind of get that approval. Now, there's people out there who obviously don't care. There's people who say they don't care and they actually do care what other people think. And then there's people who don't care, but they work through it. When they say they don't care, it doesn't always mean they don't care about other people. It means they're carefree. Now, what does carefree mean? Carefree means pe carefree people are more not people who don't care about anything, but it's more about, there are people obviously like that, but carefree people is more about thinking, right, what can I control? What can I do? So that's understanding that you can take action. You can do what you want to do. You can do what you think is right. You can have your beliefs, your thoughts and your ideas. However, you cannot control what other people think. So therefore, it is very, 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 <laughs> there's very, very little point of trying to impress everyone because not everyone's going to like you. Now, examples in my own life, I promote a lot of self-esteem and confidence stuff, which is doing very, very well. And lots of people have sent messages to me. But now and then I'll get a message. Like someone sent me a message saying, what's a guy who, look like, who looks like you doing talking about self-esteem and confidence? Of which I didn't respond to the answer because if you're asking that kind of question, that kind of says a lot about the mindset. And obviously I want to help those kind of people because they're stuck in some kind of negative belief. But that shows that I can't impress everyone. There's people that are best in their field. There's people like Cristiano Ronaldo, the best footballer in the world. He gets criticism from people just doing what he loves. Tony Robbins, amazing leader. People don't like him. Well, a lot of people do and he's changed lives. But it just shows that you cannot impress everyone. In fact, there's a phrase that says, if you want to not, if you want to please everyone, no, yeah, that's it. If you want to please everyone, say nothing, do nothing, be nothing, just hide away, basically. But you don't want to do that because you're going to be miserable. So therefore, you've got to accept that sometimes you're not going to 
please everyone. So let's go into the tips now. I divided these tips into two different sections. So the first two are mindset. The first mindset one is journaling. Journal the question, what's the worst that is going to happen? If you say something someone doesn't like, as long as it's obviously not offensive and to a certain group or whatever, deliberately or malicious, um, obviously, if you're watching this channel, I don't expect it would be. Um, but just think, what's the worst that's going to happen? If you put a video up promoting what you want to do um, or what you believe in, someone might say, oh, I don't like this or say something bad. But it's not going to it's not going to kill you. It's just going to be, you know, not a nice remark. And there's going to be a lot of positive. So journal what's actually going to happen if you do do that. Think about what's what are the positive benefits. And another point on that is think about what's going to happen if you don't take action. What are you what are you going to be stuck in? What's going to happen in like 10 years if you're still stuck in the same position of being scared of what people think? How far is life going to progress if you don't take action? So those are a couple of journaling questions you can do in order to think about, well, in order to help you take action to stop worrying about what others think about you. Tip number two is compliment yourself so, so regularly. Compliment yourself so regularly fall in love with yourself, that you're not trying to get that validation from someone else. When we don't like ourselves, we try and get validation from external sources. And I've been there. I tr I was basing how much I liked myself on whether I was doing well with dating, dating a girl, whether she was texting me back or at the workplace, getting a compliment from someone else. But that's very dangerous because although it's great to receive compliments, that's just an added bonus you should be getting in, all, in addition to liking yourself. But that can be taken away very, very quickly. So in order to stop worrying about what others think, if you really, really like yourself, you know, bad comments aren't going to affect you as much. They might affect you a little bit if they're really, really hurtful, obviously. Um, but you won't be as defensive because you know the truth. You know how great you are. So that's my second tip. Really keep complimenting yourself because then you'll start to like yourself and those things won't hurt as much. Start saying nice things to yourself maybe three nice things as you get up, and then three nice things before you go to bed. That's a very good practice. So keep saying nice things to yourself. My question for you is, what have you found worrying about what other people think has stopped you from doing? Just share yours in the comments below. My final two bits of advice are two actions for you to take. These are sort of exercises that I've used. Okay, so my third tip and the first one of these is, Go out in public on your phone and not you're actually going to phone anyone. You're going to be on the phone to yourself. You're going to be talking to yourself and you're just going to be out in public. Now, you might get a bit self-conscious about this. Oh, what are other people thinking? I'm talking to myself on the phone, but I'm not really. And actually, it helps you learn that people don't really care. Um, not like Not that you're not important, but people are so wrapped in their own world. I'm still doing the phone motion. I don't know why are so wrapped up in their own world that they're not going to pay attention to, you know, what other people are doing. So that's just a good exercise to help you learn and be more com comfortable being out in public and not worrying about what other people think. My fourth tip is create, challenge yourself if this is a challenge for you, create a 30 second video and put it online. Now, lots of people are quite scared of making videos. So... OK, maybe if 30 seconds too long, make it 15 seconds, 20 seconds. Just do a video talking about something you really enjoy or something you found useful and then just share it online and then see what responses you get. Because that's the practice of you coming out of your comfort zone and putting yourself in front of other people and actually seeing that it's not so harmful as you think. So try and do that. Try and make a 30 second video if you can. If longer, great, fantastic. But try and make it a minimum of 30, sorry, 30, 15 seconds. Okay, so those are my tips on how you can stop worrying so much about what other people think. So there's a couple of mindset things I mentioned in there, but there's also a couple of actions you can do to come out of your comfort zone. If this has been really valuable to you, but perhaps you want to go into even more depth on how you can become more confident, reduce that fear, stop worrying about what others think, many, many different areas. 
maybe you want to increase your self-esteem even more, then check out my latest book, The Self-Esteem and Confidence Mindset, which is available on Amazon in both paperback and Kindle. As always, I'll leave that link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching today. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like so more people can see it. And if you want more videos like this, then you can subscribe to my channel, The Self-Esteem and Confidence Mindset, and see new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Remember, never skip Self-Esteem Day. I appreciate you and I'll catch you in the next video.